comfortable, you know, and if you haven't, go rent the movie or read the book and you'll get a clue. You know, that it's, you're not alone in this. You're not the only one here on this planet that has chosen a really hard path because you, you've done it for a reason, you know, and it's so that you can come through the other side and be extremely loving, compassionate, um, and especially when you touch, you know, the divine, you will, you'll see a much greater understanding. Now I laugh about it. You know, two, three years ago, four years ago, I couldn't laugh about this. I laugh about this now. I think it's the most silliest thing that I could have ever done. <laughs> I still laugh about it. You know, you because know what's it's so been What's so amazing about yeah, that we, is that people who have experienced this kind of abandonment, they believe that deeply that they are worthless. And that's what they're right. fighting is this feeling of worthlessness. Exactly. It's their mother's fault or it's their father's fault that he wasn't there for them and he never came and got them, that he abandoned them. And they, it's the reason that it causes you pain, the only mm -hmm. reason it causes you pain when you experience rejection or failure is yeah. because you believe that who you are is tied to that very rejection or failure or abandonment. You still believe that you're worthless, and that's why you're so angry. And so your anger really isn't about your mother believing you weren't worthy of nurturing and loving. It's about you believing that you're not worthy still to this day of being nurturing uh, to yourself, of being worthy, of being the person that is a privilege to love and cherish and nurture yourself. You still believe that, and you still want mom to fix that for you. And the only way it's going to be fixed is by reconnecting with your source and seeing you through your heavenly mother's eye. A father and a son that there wasn't a mother. Hello. And this is the amazing thing about it, is that as long as you believe that you do not have the lovability, the worthiness to be nurtured and loved and cared for based on what happened to you with mother, you will continue to attract people who abandon you over and over yeah. and over again. Coyote will come over and over and over again, and everybody will reflect to you the same lesson, different faces, different names, different situations, but that same old crap over and over again that your mother gave yep. you. And it might be in spouses or relationships or bosses. You're just, and, and you know what? You'll become annoying. You'll become angry, and you'll also become someone that people don't want to be around. So you get to be right about it, that nobody wants to love you and nurture you and be there for you. Because your anger will push people away. And so you'll continue to be right. And this is how you create your life. And the anger will continue to grow because it's not even about mother. It's about the fact that you believed mother. You believed your value was dependent upon your mother's love. And you still believe it's about people accepting you and approving of you. So you run around giving everybody your power to reject you and therefore getting mm -hmm. to be right, increasing the anger, over and over until you crack and you break and you're willing to be wrong. No other way. No other way out of it. No elixir, no five-minute fix on this one. And yet, yeah. it can be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, 80 years, or it can be multiple lifetimes for that matter, or it can be a five-minute process or less based on your willingness. We determine how much suffering to go through based on how strong our ego is. Our ego would rather be right than happy any day, and it will take us mm -hmm. out of this all the time. The easy way out is through the matrix. It is through the process of transforming energy. It is the easy way out, where we find that we have nothing to fear except fear itself. The hard way, stay stuck. Keep trying to be right about it. Keep kicking against the pricks, thinking things should have been different. Keep experiencing the depression and the sadness and the grief and the anger. Keep recreating. That's the hard way. The easy yeah. way out is transformation. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, and, uh, and that loathing and uh, mom doesn't love me is just a reflection of you not loving yourself. Oh, what? You know, because once oh, you do and once you have, yeah, exactly, once you have that connection oh, with what? source, you will give two hoots who loves you and who doesn't because you'll know yeah. that you are You will never that are your, your get definite and approval of your mother ever again. Exactly. Why are you looking for mom, mommy to love you? You know, 
Right. Why is it that mother has to love you? You're living in the world of have tos and should haves and ought tos and if onlys and, and the anger because you think it has to look a certain way. Mother is coyote to you and she is perfect for you. Because again, as Justice yeah. Sonia said, she is reflecting to you your lack of self love. Your anger isn't at your mother. If you go to the core level in this work, you will find out that your anger is at yourself for continuing to believe that her rejection of you or her lack of love has anything to do with who you really are and your value or your lovability. And you're mm -hmm. only going to get that from source. And so you can stop being the begging little girl who's going to mom saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, expecting something in return because that is such a conditional love. It's not yeah. love at all. You're seeking acceptance and approval because you believe you're not enough and that's fear. And the motive of love, uh, of fear can only bring about failure. Until you transform that fear into love, you are stuck. You are stuck in this process. Creating tragedy, creating sadness and grief and depression and all that kind of thing. Thinking things should be different than they are. And um, the ego will tell us that man, if I just accept it, then life is hell. It's horrible. No, the ego always tells you the opposite of what's true. What's really hell is living and believing and thinking the way that you're thinking. That's hell. Joy comes. Exquisite, euphoric joy. Peace that surpasses all understanding is what comes as a result. Distilling upon the soul as the dews of heaven as a mm -hmm. result of transformation. Waiting for all of us. There's two, like I told Lily, um, and this is part of what I shared in, in when I transformed and came through the other side, this beautiful poem, or, or if you want, um, I don't know, parable, whatever you want to call it, that came through so clearly. And then I finally, when it first came through, trust me, I didn't understand. I didn't fully comprehend it in every part of my body and every cell in my being um, to the core of me. had no comprehension of it till days later when I f went somewhere and somebody said something that was so beautiful. She said, um, when you're willing to lose it all, she said, when, you're, when you stand in front of your greatest fears, your greatest desires, and you're willing to lose it all, that's when you become the most dangerous. And that's what I did with my ex-husband, who is still a CIA guy. You know? And she said, when I told him I was willing to lose it all, to give him all his credit cards, the cars, I didn't care, that's when I became dangerous to him, because then he has no control over her. So that's in, in essence what Lily is saying to you, you know, is that yeah, then your mom, your f yeah, and you will have no, and that's when I realized you have two choices. One, you can continue to doing what you're doing, kicking and screaming, fighting yourself, being angry, being hurtful, you know, being coyote, because <laughs> I used to be like you. You're such a great reflection of what I, you know, what I, what I grew from, um, and maybe that's why you were attracted to come to the show, so I could share with you that I've been through this transformation. So you can either kick and scream into your, your worst nightmare, you know, and fight it all the way, and it's going to keep on chasing your butt and, make, and getting worse and more intense, because that's what happened to me, or you can smoothly move into it and accept it and give it up and surrender to it. It doesn't mean that you're giving your life up. It just means you're surrendering it and you're surrendering whatever it means and, and, and willing to lose everything in order to gain ten times more back. 